Today we are having a beautiful day here in Costa Rica and we're talking about the metaverse. Now, obviously when we're getting into this new ecosystem, right, there are a lot of different ventures that we can invest into, right? NFTs, properties, uh, you know, digital real estate, different wearables for your people, um, you know, the little avatar players within these games, right? Uh, but what is it that we want to mainly focus on, right? What is it that we want to acquire? Well, just like cryptocurrency, having a diverse portfolio is just as important as, um, you know, applying that principle within investing in the metaverse is just as important, right? So you want to have real estate, you want to have different NFTs, different types of NFTs, right? Um, you want to have your dinky little pictures and whatnot. Um, and you also want to have uh, NFTs that have actual intrinsic value based off of different games and different ecosystems. So what I mean by that is, Obviously, for those that don't have just an exorbitant amount of money to invest in the metaverse, you kind of want to start small and build your way up, right? So you kind of want to find those gems, right, as they always say. It's not the easiest thing to find, right? But when you do find one, you do want to make your investment and just sit on it and wait for things to really uh, pay off, right? You're not always going to see those quick flips, that quick money, uh, but with certain investments, you're going to have to wait a bit longer, right? So I personally, in my personal opinion, I believe that NFTs that can provide an income are going to be very very uh, valuable very worth your time okay so uh it can be applied in a lot of different ways um currently i am looking at an ecosystem uh it's called decentral games they're built on top of um decentral land if i'm not mistaken and specifically their ice poker game so within this ice poker game is like a, a little you know digital casino little um metaverse uh poker game right and you can complete little daily challenges and you actually get paid their ice token um which can be you know redeemed for you know other cryptocurrencies exchange for other cryptos and uh you can actually you know make money playing these games within the metaverse right um play to earn games are going to be absolutely huge this is a ecosystem that is very very young you can tell by the quality of the games the quality of everything how everything's made it still has a lot more to grow um but just to put things into perspective right the video gaming industry right now is huge uh, worldwide right it has been blowing up in the past 10 years just extremely right um before there wasn't really like esports there weren't really like tournaments you couldn't really make that much money with gaming at all but nowadays it's very 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 strong so once you connect playing a video game with earning money earning an income and then being really good at the game and earning more money it's going to explode even more there's going to be a lot more attention drawn to games when you've got those kids that are sitting in their parents you know basement that have been playing video games non-stop for the past eight months um and their parents are saying oh get off your ass and go get a job and go earn some money they're going to be actually able to earn money within those games so that stuff is going to be very very strong there's going to be sponsorships there's going to be just companies there's a lot of money a lot of money within that ecosystem okay hopefully you guys are realizing this right we've got an a a like a little egg right that's going to be very valuable okay if we can invest into this egg now it's going to be pay off right so the egg being play to earn games within the metaverse within this cryptocurrency ecosystem that we're in my opinion okay the games that are going to be well worth investing in are going to be games just as complex and as appealing as the big video games that we see nowadays, right? First person shooters, uh, open world video games, okay? Those games, once they implement cryptocurrencies, once they implement play to earn aspects of their already established you know, brands and games, those are going to be ones to really invest into whichever way possible, whether it be in-game NFTs, whether it be their own cryptocurrency, etc. right? Because they're going to be building off of an already very strong, uh, valuable market, okay? So once we start to see these games rolling out, right? That's going to be one. Those are going to be ones that once you have those characteristics, you're going to really want to dive deep into those. Again, I'm going to be, you know, looking for those. I still haven't seen uh, ones um, that are quite at that level yet. But another one is um, game quality. Right. So then like the game looking as realistic as possible. When you see Roblox, I believe, or like the sandbox, like the avatars just look so so fake, so video, so cartoony that I don't see it having it doesn't resonate with me. I want to see like real like 
like trying to look as real life as possible, right? Those are the games that really do well, right? As, as real as possible, you know, looking video games, okay? But like I was talking about, uh, Decentral Games, their ice poker game, right? It's an online casino game, but um, obviously you earn more as, as good as you are at poker, right? So if you're better at the little in-game poker game, you're going to be earning more of the ice rewards, but you can just complete the little daily challenges just by playing. Like, if you're if you're playing for an extended period of time, a couple hours, you're going to be earning that. And now you're thinking, well, who would spend their time playing an online casino game? Well, specifically people that are living in third world countries, right? People people that live in, in Argentina, people that live in Peru, people that live in Chile, like those countries that don't quite offer a nice standard of, of, of wage, of minimum wage on a monthly, you know, weekly basis, right? These people are earning thousands of dollars, you know, per month uh, playing these little online games, right? If they were earning like $20 a month, then obviously no, but they're earning a decent little, little, little income, right? So you actually need a certain NFT to be able to play the game. Okay, so there is intrinsic value as long as there's demand to play the game, as long as there's value behind playing the game. Obviously, the value is the income that you can make. Then there's obviously drive and demand for the NFT. Okay, the NFT right now, the floor price is like one and a half Ethereum. I think it was like over six grand, something like that. So it's not obviously not accessible to everyone. But what's cool is that you as an NFT owner, you can actually delegate your NFT to someone who doesn't own one. Right. Um, you earn 30% of what they earn playing the game, and they obviously get to keep uh, the remaining uh, 70%, right? Um, but you as a NFT delegator with a, well, I don't want to get too specific within their game, but there's five levels of every NFT. You upgrade the NFT with your ICE tokens, right? You can obviously buy it on an exchange um, and then just upgrade. But we're talking about the, just the level one NFT. You can earn up to $850 a month, up to, right? Um, not on average, but up to. Uh, as the NFT owner delegated to someone else. So completely passive, you just sit back and let them play out the game on a daily basis and you can be earning, uh, like I said, up to $850 a month. Um, don't expect that, right? It's a max, probably expect near four or $500 a month. But uh, if you're actually able to buy the NFT on mint day, right, it's 0.25 ETH. So it's not that much of an investment and you're, you'd be earning back your investment in, in a couple of months tops, right? Um, on top of the actual value of the NFT increasing, right? Because right now, like I said, the floor price is, uh, you know, you're looking at a four, five, six X return off of your investment uh, just with the NFT alone, aside from the fact that you're earning that passive income on a daily basis basis so if you guys want to check out decentral games and the ice poker and all that stuff i'll have some links down below uh in the description to the websites necessary to to research more about that but that is something that i am currently looking at um i may not end up actually investing in that one i may it depends on how because you need certain requirements you need a certain coin you need to stake it you need to do a couple steps um i may or may not i'll be letting you guys know um what i end up doing with that but the point is this, that idea, right? The NFT that has intrinsic value based off of its own little ecosystem, right? Um, that you can invest into and it provide you a passive income, okay? That is going to be very, very strong, very, very powerful in the coming months and years, right? Okay, that is something that I definitely, that's a huge green flag for me when I'm looking for an investment within the metaverse, okay? That's kind of what I'm trying to get at, all right? So if you guys wanna look into it, like I said, I'll have the links down below um, and I'll be letting you guys know what steps I take within this ecosystem. Again, I'm just opening you guys' his eyes up to this. I'm bringing this information to you guys so you guys start to understand what I'm looking for within the metaverse, all right? Um, if you guys want to sign up for one-on-one -on -one mentorship, you can through the Patreon link in the description below. Please drop a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe with your post notifications turned on. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.